Oh man, we finally have made it. I finally figured out how to emulate Commodore 64. And this gives us an excellent opportunity to check out this game called Summer Games 2, which is supposedly the best competition to track and field 2. This is one that I hear the uh, Commodore people rave about. So let's see how good it is. Um, I've never done a Commodore 64 game before on this channel, and I'm glad that we're finally breaking the ice there. And what a great game to start with. Um, I love the Commodore sound chip. It sounds great. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into this here. Uh, so we have some events we can compete in, or we could just choose one. There's practice modes, uh, summer games, number of joysticks, see world records, opening ceremonies, closing ceremonies. Well, since we are going to be uh, checking out all the events, we might as well select compete in all the events. Okay, so we get to choose our country. Let's put our name in there. And uh, I guess you use the keyboard there. So let's uh, check out this stuff here. Oh, yeah. Ha-ha! <laughs> Gotta love it, man. Yeah, good times. Okay, why is it asked for a player two? I didn't input player two, but... Uh, all right, let's just put that in. Uh, let's see what we got here. Let's see, we got France, Great Britain, West Germany, Austria, Italy. Pretty good selection of countries here. USSR, Canada, Mexico, Spain, Denmark, Australia. Brazil, Japan, Netherlands, Epics. Never heard of that country. But their flag is shitty. It looks like a guy that's uh it, it's a thinker. It's what it is. He's just a thinker. That's their flag. Uh Norway, Ireland. Okay, so that's quite a lot of countries here. So let's uh let's be the good old USA versus the Kami Russians. Yeah, awesome times. I didn't ask for a player three. Okay, let's check it out, though. We might as well see what Canada's is like, huh? Sorry, Canada sucks. <laughs> Actually, I didn't mean to skip it. Pretty good addition to this. How many players do I have to have? All right, uh, let's see who else we could have in there. I guess we could do Ireland for Power Metal Gamer. No wonder they're drunkards over there. Even their national anthem sounds like a drinking song. <laughs> Okay, let's see who else we got. We might as well do our buddies in the UK here. The GB. Ah, yeah. Nice times. Okay, let's see who else we've got here. This is great start to the game so far. Um, Let's see. Now we're just picking out countries on at random. Is there China or anything like that? Japan. Let's do Japan. Okay, finally, we got player eight. Who's gonna be France, I suppose. Why not? Okay, no, we don't want that many players. We gotta figure something out here. All right, so let's pick USA again. All right, let's just try hitting enter without putting a name in. Oh, that's what you've got to do. Okay, well, finally figured it out. Sorry you guys had to suffer through it. <laughs> uh, but really interesting, they have little anthems for everybody. All right, we've seen that part before. So let's check out the triple jump in this game, because I'm sure it's crappy like the other ones, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it plays. 
once it loads. All right, let's do this. Okay. Ah, jumped and faulted. Okay, let's try it again, people. Come on, jump. Why didn't I jump there? Really? That's pathetic. Uh, I guess you keep rapidly tap, it fails. Well, <laughs> America did not succeed in the triple jump. They only did one jump, just to let you know. Because we forgot to bring our basketball players. Just saying. <laughs> Press your button. Okay. See how this one goes here? Okay, I'm not sure what... Oh, okay, you gotta row back and forth. Okay, this is like rowing. Gotcha. Wow, I'm totally poning then. I guess I'm the guy on the bottom, I think. Yeah, I guess I am. Wow, the CPU just sucks at this one then. This one's easy, dude. I like this event. It actually functions somewhat good. Oh, crap, he's catching up with me. Come on! Oh crap, barely beat me. But... I don't know what happened there, because I was kicking his ass, and then all of a sudden my speed just automatically dropped for no reason that I can think of here. But, apparently we still got a gold. I don't think the game understood that... I was behind the guy that was in front of me. So I shouldn't be the first place person, but okay. I'll take the gold, I suppose. All right, so here we go with the javelin. All right, so let's check it out. Each event's got like little theme songs. That's really nice. I'm glad that they uh, offered a lot of musical stuff in this game. Okay, here we go with the good throw. Holy crap. That is a beautiful throw, man, right off the bat. It's already, like, super competitive for a javelin throwing game. Alright, let's try it again, people. Oh, screwed up there. I guess I don't know what I did there, but still good throw. I really like the javelin throw. I usually got to do it a little bit earlier than I did it there. Okay, let's see what we got here. Not quite as good. Well, actually, I don't know. Oh, holy crap. 83 meters. Okay, well, this is officially the best javelin throwing game out of all the ones we played. Fantastic. I, mean, I think we got a gold there from that. Nice. Fantastic, dude. Awesome javelin event. Yeah, we got two gold medals. Already doing better than the other games. So let's see what we got now. Once it loads. Oh, equestrian, really? Holy crap. That's really interesting. And it's even got music that's very stereotypically equestrian sounding. With some freaking harpsichord action going on. Okay, here we go. All right, how do I go forward? Okay, up apparently, it's down, stops. Okay. Now, ah, oh, come on, I fell off the horse there. Whatever. Let's go back. Oh, you can go back by hitting down. Okay, gotcha. Holy crap. Guess I gotta go back again. How do you stop from falling off the horse there? What do you do there? Ah! Stop falling! Ah, I gotta jump over this little creek here, I guess, or whatever it is. Supposed to symbolize. I got- Why did I get disqualified? I landed! Why do you get disqualified for landing the jump? <laughs> I guess I just don't understand the event, but... Holy crap! Why did we get disqualified? 
Does it make sense? This event sucks. <sighs> Sorry, America. We just drive cars too much. We gotta get back to our roots and start riding horses again. Clearly, that's what's going on here. Okay. Rub it in, game. Okay, so we got the high jump next. Insert Summer Games 2 side 2, then press joystick button. The hell? I have no idea what this is about, guys, so uh, give me just a moment. I'll figure this out. Yes, we have it figured out. Nice. Epic music, for sure. Okay, so here we go with our first attempt at the high jump. All right, let's do this. I guess, uh, <laughs> I guess we just didn't jump. We forgot to. Okay, hit the bar. Fantastic. Not sure what we're supposed to do there, but okay. Let's try this again, people. Okay, we hit the bar again. I have no idea how you control the character because of this really crappy perspective they gave us. And still hit the bar. I have no idea how you control that at all. Yeah, the Russians are just laughing at us right now, for sure. But whatever. Can't win them all, people. The high jump was just not in the cards today. Stop rubbing it in, game. Let's play the next event. <laughs> okay, so let's see. We got fencing now. Let's see how the fencing works in this. Press your button. Okay. How can my sword change colors? I had no idea to move forward. Warning hearing. Pissed limit. I'm not pissed. Hits nullify each other. Okay, whatever. Dude, that's not fair, Keith. <laughs> I'm sorry that I'm too pissed. Oh, man. This is definitely not track and field two fencing. That is for sure. Yeah. Good job. You hit me. Fantastic. Okay, I have no idea how to do this. This is stupid. And look how pixely those graphics are in this game, man. Crap, looks like an Atari game. The graphics really hit a nosedive with this one. I mean, not to say that the other events were the best looking, but at least... You can kind of tell what the hell is going on and shit, you know? This literally looks like an Atari 2600 game. Clearly, whoever did the fencing programming didn't really give a shit about fencing, because, uh... They just didn't put any effort into it, you know? I don't know, maybe they did. Maybe they made the most advanced fencing simulation known to man, and I just suck at it compared to the other one that's why it seems like crap but i don't know it just doesn't seem very good to me i don't have any idea why my sword changed color and the droid one whatever the epx droid yeah droids do win of course guys so we lost what can you say Stop it. Stupid fencing event, you suck. <laughs> Apparently I still got a gold for losing and fencing. I don't know. 
apparently I lasted longer than the other countries, and that's why we won. Because I lasted longer than everybody else against the droids. Okay. That makes sense, Gabe. <laughs> All right, so let's see what we've got now with the uh, cycling. Nice musical renditions, though, man. All right, let's see what we got here. Ready, set, go. All right, how do I go? Oh, this is weird. Oh, okay, I see. I see, like, the arrow there. I think you're supposed to go along with the arrow. Okay, I guess you have to just rotate your joystick around. I guess once you get it going, it, it goes really good. But you have to, like, go with the rhythm of the arrow, it seems like. And I can't really get it down, man. It's going super slow there. Man, this one... The controls are so finicky here. But, man, when you can go to get it going, you can really get it going, dude. This is, in a way, kind of like the rowing event, except shittier. But, I guess it somewhat functions, at least. I'll give it credit where it's due there. But I'm never going to catch up to the CPU, because, like, I don't even know how close I am to him. Yeah. Oh, actually, I wasn't that far away. Wow. Okay, well, that event wasn't the greatest, but it played, at least. It kind of played. It just wasn't the most eloquent or intuitive, but it functioned. So I guess I'll give it props there. And we got a goal, apparently, even though the CPU still beat us. I had no idea how the game bases this stuff at all. It just, it seems like this is the participation trophy Olympics game. Like, congratulations, you participated and didn't completely fuck up, so uh, you got a gold medal. <laughs> Unless you're playing against other people, then maybe, I guess, you just compete over who's got the best or something like that. But yeah, last uh, bit, maybe, I don't know. Let's see, it was kayaking. Okay, we did canoeing in uh, track and field too. I guess it's the same kind of thing. Yeah, it is. Whitewater kayaking. Press button to start. Okay. We got one. Yes. How do I go forward though? Oh, you gotta really do the joystick crazy, man. There's, these are freaking rapids here. Holy crap. You're like fighting for your life trying to get... Ugh, dude, you have to. Holy crap, look how fast the river's going, though. I can't get out of there. Holy crap. The current has taken me. It has taken me. Come on, turn around. Turn this ship around. Gotta get to number five here. Holy crap. You just have to, like, rapidly tap that joystick, dude. Trying to make it through. Here we go. Made it, though. Okay, this one's a reverse one. So I guess uh, we got to get it turned around and then go in reverse. Ugh. Such a pain in the butt. Okay, we made it. Holy crap. Ah! Dude, this river is insane compared to the one in freaking track and field. Track and field's like trading pool river, and this is like fight for your life river. <laughs> like... You're more focused about trying to survive than to make it through the gates, but you still gotta make it through the gates because it's an Olympic event. Ah, come on, Turtis! Ah, come on! Jeez. Ah. I, mean, I guess if I didn't figure out the controls pretty quickly, I would have been totally hosed on this one. There we go. How come that was a fault? I went through right. Didn't I? I guess this one doesn't have loop ones. I wonder why that is. There we go. Okay, we got one that got to do a reverse. Holy crap. Oh, no! The current is... <laughs> it took a control. Holy crap. All right, let's try this now. Ah, oh, gosh. Dang it. Good, good. Okay, we made it. Ah, holy crap, I can't get can't get to 14. Come on, 14. Let's Ah Stop it! Stop it! Jeez, that freaking land is fighting me now. 
Okay. Jeez. Just get... Okay, we made it. Holy crap. Dude. That one was crazy. How did I face the wrong direction on that one? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Okay, but we succeeded, people. We have successfully completed that. And we got a gold. <laughs> of course. So America finally delivered some Olympic whoop-ass against no other country because nobody else competed, but we won. Five of the eight events. The other three we disqualified. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. We actually had a lot of success with it. Um, I don't know if I'm ready to say it's better than Track and Field 2. I don't think that's the case. But this one was one of the better ones for sure. Um, I was really impressed with the musical renditions and things like that. They were a lot of fun. So let's uh, see what we got here. Oh, I guess this is like closing ceremony. So let me go ahead and hush it. Wow, that was pretty cool. So, awesome close for the Summer Games 2 episode. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. And don't forget to check out the other Retro Olympics 2016 videos on my channel. So thanks for tuning in. But till then, down Phoenix out.